name is Trish Mara. I'm a holistic health coach with Inside Out Nutrition. When I was first asked to do one of these Wellness Wednesday videos, at first I thought, oh, I, I can't choose one topic when it comes to nutrition. But um, thinking about it, I chose making your own hummus instead of relying on um, store-made um, hummus. The main reason is because when you make your own hummus, you can use organic extra oil, I mean, um, extra virgin olive oil, because these oils are in part responsible for lots of people's ales today. Canola, soy, sunbean, sunflower, corn, grape seeds, safflower, rice bran, cotton seeds. Sometimes it will just say vegetable oil, but it can mean any one of these. And then all of the fake spreads like margarine and others. These hateful eight, some people call them, are in part responsible for fatty liver disease, gallbladder disease. It is the beginning of the digestion digestion system and it, these oils are clogging all of us up. The body does not recognize them as real food. They're foreign invaders. Um, so you want to use olive oil as much as possible. That's the main reason, but also you save so much money and you one batch of hummus can give you four different varieties of hummus. Um, so my favorite probably is beets, either roasted beets or these are in the market right now, the organic cooked beets. I didn't roast these just so you could see, chop them up, put them right in. Here is the beet hummus. You can add um, herbs. I didn't put too many in this batch, but even when you serve them, just a little garnish of the fresh herbs. This is sweet potato hummus. I roasted the sweet potatoes with um, fresh oregano, so you're getting all the micronutrients of your fresh herbs. Here are some roasted carrots. I often do just frozen peas. If you do canned garbanzo beans, take the can, just fill the can after you put the um, garbanzo beans in, do a can of frozen peas avocado, um, roasted red pepper, anything. Sprout hummus is absolutely delicious. It has such a full, full flavor. So once I do the recipe, I then divide it into quarters and make, you know, some beet, some carrot, some pea, but you'll have four different kinds of hummus in one recipe. And again, most importantly, it's avoiding these dreadful oils. One more, if you want to email me, I know I mentioned this, trish at ionutrition.net, this recipe is foolproof. Until I started constantly making this recipe, I thought I made good hummus, but this recipe is a really, really delicious recipe. It's perfect. So I hope that's helpful. So enjoy getting healthy with your vegetable hummus and saving money and avoiding the bad oils. Thanks, bye.